Welcome back, everyone. This is part three uh, of government budget and fiscal policy. In this part, we will discuss the fiscal policy. So the fiscal policy uh, is divided into contractionary and expansionary fiscal policy. We will discuss uh, one of those first and the other one in the next video. Uh, the first one is the expansionary fiscal policy. So that's what we will discuss in this part. But first, let's discuss the, uh, the uh, I mean, the definition of fiscal policy. What is a fiscal policy? Fiscal policy is the use of government spending and tax policy to influence the path of economy over time. So the government, it has, uh, it has different two types of policies, monetary policy and fiscal policy. Monetary policy involves the use of money supply to increase, uh, to increase or decrease different uh, aims it has to achieve its aims. So the aim could be to reduce unemployment rate or another aim could be increase the aggregate demand in the economy or to reduce inflation. So those are government aims and to achieve those aims government has either monetary policy or fiscal policy so as i said monetary policy in that case the government uses uh, money supply it increases money supply or decreases money supply to achieve its target but in the case of fiscal policy the government uh, fiscal policy is you is the use of government spending and tax policy to influence the path of the economy over time so here we have uh, in the case of fiscal policy, we have uh, the use of government spending and tax policy. Uh, so the government can increase its spending or decrease its spending or the government can increase its tax revenue uh, or decrease its tax revenue to change, uh, to achieve its goals. So in the case of expansionary fiscal policy, as you can uh, see from the word expansionary, it means that the government wants to expand the economy. It wants to increase uh, the activity in, in its country or in its economy. Definition. A form of fiscal policy in which an increase in government purchases, a decrease in taxes, and or an increase in transfer payments are used to correct the problems of a business cycle contraction. I will divide this definition into some parts, uh, several parts. So, a form of fiscal policy in which an increase in government purchases, a decrease in taxes, and or an increase in transfer payments are used to correct the problems of business cycle contraction. So, first thing uh, is that it's a form of fiscal policy in which an increase in government purchases. So uh, government increases its purchases or government increases its expenditure. That's the first part. Uh, a reduction in taxes. The government uh, will reduce its tax rate, reduce its taxes and increase in transfer payments. Transfer payments are uh, the payments like subsidies or other benefits, unemployment benefits that the government gives to people. So government increases these transfer payments. So what is happening? What is actually happening due to these three things? One, uh, two, uh, here, two, three. Uh, due, due to these three factors, uh, people will have more money and they will spend more. I mean, government is also spending more when uh, it increases government purchases and due to reduction in taxes and increase in trust payments, people have more money and they will be spending more in the economy. And uh, why, why, why would the government do that? To solve the problems of business cycle contraction. So what is a business cycle contraction? Uh, I have discussed in the course before. So this is a business cycle, how the economy is going uh, up and down. So when the economy is in this part, uh, in the contraction part, the government says, okay guys, uh, let's improve the economy. So how do we improve the economy? By giving by spending increasing the expenditure in the economy in that way people will have more money and they will more spend more there will be more activity in the economy in the country and uh, the business cycle will recover and go up the goal now let's discuss the goal 
of expansionary fiscal policy is to close a recessionary gap, stimulate the economy and decrease the unemployment rate. So here when we are uh, at this part as uh, of the business cycle, it's a recessionary uh, period and to reduce that gap to uh, uh, to uh, finish the recessionary gap, the government uses this policy to stimulate the economy and also to decrease unemployment rate because at this point the unemployment rate is pretty high because there is not much activity going on in the economy and many people are unemployed so whenever the economy is in this phase the government that this is one uh, expansionary fiscal policy is one of the main tools the government can use to uh, to recover expansionary fiscal policy is often supported by expansionary monetary policy so an expansionary mon monetary policy means increase in money supply so money supply increase means that people will again have more money so that's part uh, that's uh, the other part of uh, the policy that the government has the monetary policy but here we need to understand what the fiscal policy is and how government under uh, uses it so that's the expansionary fiscal policy and uh, now we will discuss it in more details there are th three tools of expansionary fiscal policy in general expansionary fiscal policy works through the two sides of the government fiscal budget spending and taxes however it's often useful to separate these two sides into three specific tools government purchases taxes and transfer payments so the first component or the first tool of expansionary fiscal policy is government purchases expenditures by the government sector especially those by the federal government on final goods or services this means that government purchases means that the uh, expenditure that the uh, of the government sector uh, on purchasing final goods or services these could be anything uh, from consumer goods to uh, any other type of goods and these are called government purchases because the government is purchasing those goods and services next and uh, expansionary fiscal policy involves an increase in the funds appropriated for these assorted agencies so the government says okay we need to uh, increase our government purchases we need to spend more and uh, uh, what it does is that it purchases more so that's the first component government purchases the second is taxes the second of three fiscal policy tools is taxes primarily personal income taxes levied by the federal government but other taxes are also used so expansionary fiscal policy involves either a decrease of the income tax rates or a one-time rebate of taxes previously paid so expansionary fiscal policy it means that the government either decreases income tax rates people will have to pay less tax on their income so they will have more income available to spend and uh, that will mean that people will spend more and there will be more activity in the economy the uh, economy will have more chances to recover and a one-time rebate of taxes previously paid in that case if you have paid uh, taxes in previous year government will say okay I'll pay you I will g give a part of that tax back to you so that's a rebate so that's the second component and finally the third one is transfer payments transfer payments are payments made by the government sector to the household sector with no expectations of productive activity in return <coughs> so uh, here the transfer payments, payments the uh, are uh, payments made by the government sector that's the first part these are the payments by the government sector to the household sector so these are payments from government sector to household uh, uh, sector with no expectations of productive activity in return the government says okay guys i'm giving you money and you can spend it however you like i will not ma uh, make you accountable for that it's free money the three common transfer payments are social security benefits to the elderly and disabled unemployment compensation to the unemployed and welfare to the poor so uh, these are the three common transfer payments because the government does not expect to get this money back and it does not want people to uh, be accountable for that money expansionary fiscal policy involves either an increase in payment schedule for one or more of the transfer payments or perhaps 
some sort of across the board lump sum payment to all who qualify uh, i mean uh, the government either says okay i'm in going to increase i'm going to increase transfer payments to the people and uh, either it's uh, through a schedule once every month or once every six months uh, or across the board lump sum payment to all who qualify uh, this means that the government says okay if you have meet these requirements i'm going to give you the money so these are uh, transfer payments that's the third tool of expansionary fiscal policy uh, that's it for this part if, uh, if you have any question on expansionary fiscal policy you can ask in the comment section in the next part we will discuss the contractionary fiscal policy that will be easier for you to understand because it's kind of same uh, but i mean uh, the purpose is that you understand it totally so i will make a, a video on that as well all right i'll see you in the next part goodbye